Hey everybody, I hope us all is well. I wanted to, I'm doing this video because of course, you know, I have a fitness component or a health component associated with my channel. And I'm going to start posting every Friday for Fitness Friday because your health is paramount to every aspect of your life to include your career. So we have to be healthy individuals so that we can be our best self and live our very best lives and accomplish any goals that we have set for ourselves. So guess what y'all? Your girl lost six, see the six pounds in one week. As you know, I just started back up my health, my weight loss journey and I lost six pounds, pounds, six pounds this week. Hey, this week. Hey, I lost six pounds. I said six pounds. Hey, this week. Hey, hey, this week. Hey, 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 hey. And before you naysayers, you haters, oh, that's just water weight. I don't care what it is because it's all mental. If your mental is right, you can do anything. So for me, that is a huge positive. And I know it's not just weight, water weight because of the way my clothes are fitting. It's also some fat loss associated with it. And I'll tell you how I know that. Because I have incorporated intermittent fasting, IF for short. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to do a whole video on what it is. But it is amazing. It's basically... You eat at a specific time. You allow your um, insulin level to get to like baseline or get really low so that it will start, so that your body will start burning fat, uh, the stored fat that uh, it has opposed to glucose. Because if your body is, if you're continuously eating, your insulin will spike. So you're not going to lose any body fat if you have those insulin uh a lot of insulin in your blood so i'm allowing that insulin level to drop switch my body to fat burning i've also incorporated ketogenic diet which is i don't eat more than 20 grams of carbs per day y'all y'all know i lost 42 pounds before and that was on the protein sparring modified fast along with keto but a lot of it was on a protein sparring modified fast and i was so hungry when i was doing it because i couldn't eat fat on that diet so protein sparring modified fast is it's kind of like keto uh you don't eat any carbs you eat meat you can have a small amount of carbs like you're it's very measured like you have a half a cup of vegetables for and it's certain vegetables. It's a whole thing. I'll, I could do a video on that as well, but it's very detailed. And with that, you really need to be under care of a doctor. I was not, but I'm telling you, you, you should be. With any weight loss or any fitness, anything, consult your doctor first. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical doctor. I am not a nutritionist, a dietitian. I'm a regular American citizen who has had success with weight loss, who has went outside of what the norm is telling us what we need to do to lose weight because the norm, that didn't work for me. Low fat, I'm hungry all day. I can't do a low fat diet. I don't have no energy, I'm lethargic, and I'm hungry as hell. So, that don't work for me, no work. But I know what does work, and this works for me, but consult your own medical uh, doctor for any type of health-related, fitness-related advice, but I'm just giving you my story, okay? But um, I'm telling y'all, I, I feel so good. I've been doing, I'm looking forward to the next week. I, feel, I have so much energy. Before I got back on IF and, um, and keto, I was feeling so bad, y'all. I was so bloated. I felt horrible. I looked horrible. I was just so disgusted with myself. And now... It's not like that anymore. I have so much energy. I'm doing fasted cardio. So I don't eat all day and I do cardio. So this is what a day looks like for me. I get up in the morning. 
about uh, 4.30, get ready for work. I drink a cup of water before I get on the road. I have a long commute, as you know. Uh, I drive to work. I um, drink water all day throughout the day. I try to drink one gallon of water a day. It is imperative to lose any kind of weight, and especially with IF and keto, you have to drink a lot of water. You have to drink a lot of water, so you're going to be going to the bathroom a lot. But you have to drink that water if you don't do anything else. And then I don't, I don't eat all day. So I typically do either at least a 20-hour fast, and that fasting includes sleep time, so know that. So at least a 20-hour fast, but majority of the time, I'm doing a 24-hour fast, if not longer, because after I get from work, I go to the gym and I work out fasted. Let me back up. For lunch, for my 30-minute lunch break, I walk. I do not eat. I walk. I get outside the building and I walk. I take in nature and it, it gives me energy. The sunlight gives me energy. It makes me feel so good to finish out my day at work. So I'm, I'm my, my mental clarity, if I could just, y'all, it... I have so much clarity and it is amazing. It's amazing, I feel so good. Um, so after that, I end my day at work, go work out, like I told you, at the local gym. So I put my gym clothes, they're already, my bag is in my car. So I don't have an excuse. And typically what, I've been, uh, what I started doing is I've been changing at work. So I can't say, oh man, I don't wanna go in there and change. No, you're ready. You have to set yourself up for success. Do not give yourself any outs. I've been there. I used to do it all the time. Don't give yourself any outs. No excuses. You are important. You deserve health, fitness, and to accomplish your goals and to live the life that you want to live. So after that, I come home. I'm drinking water, like I said, con consistently throughout the day. And I eat dinner with my family. We all eat at the table. That is my thing. That is why I chose my, um, I do one meal a day, OMAD. My OMAD meal is my dinner because I want to be able to talk to my kids. I want to be able to talk to my husband. I want to be able to just have a conversation and see how their day was and fellowship with, um, with them and engage with them. And it's, it's great. So I love it. Uh, OMAD works for me. I will say the one thing with OMAD, sometimes it's very easy to not eat enough calories because just because I'm eating one meal a day, people get it confused. Like, oh man, you're eating a lot. This is my calorie intake for the day. I try to do at least 1,200 calories. A lot of times I'm not, and I'll tell you why. This is a struggle that I'm having is my stomach feels full. I do not have enough room to eat. It almost is like a natural gastric bypass because I'm like, oh my goodness. I get all this food on my plate and I'm, doo -doo 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 -doo. man, I can't eat it all. I can't eat it all. <laughs> I cannot eat it all. But my method is not the only method for intermittent fasting. You can fast in shorter windows. And like I said, I will do a detailed uh, video on what intermittent fasting is, the different ones there are. Like mine is called a warrior diet, if you will. You're just eating one meal uh, per day. And, and you can work yourself up to it. Um, because like I said, I did intermittent fasting before and I worked myself up to it. I started with just pushing my breakfast back, you know, to like a 12 hour fast. And I went up to 16, 18, 20, then I rocked it. I'm also going to start incorporating a little bit uh, extended fat, they call it extended fast. So I'm gonna do a 48, fat, 48 hour fast at least once a month, at least once a month. Um, I've done a 48 hour fast before. It wasn't as hard as you would think it is. Sometimes with me, uh, I get bored, and when I get bored or I get stressed, I wanna eat. So um, that's always difficult for me. But what I've been doing, instead of eating, I've been drinking water. You know, when I, when I, I have a stressful job, so I'm just like, mm, let me get some water. Before I would snack on peanuts, or chips, cookies, anything, anything unhealthy. So, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Not gonna do that so just 
set up things, if I can recommend anything, drink a lot of water and already set yourself up for success, not failure. If you know you don't like going to the gym or working out or whatever, put those clothes in your car. Put them on your body before you leave work so you can go straight to the gym or however your routine is. Set yourself up for success because if you do not, what's going to happen? The same thing that's happening now. Nothing. 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 What is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Come on now. Stuff is out here. Use it. But, y'all, six. Did I say six? Six, six, six. This way, that way, this way, that way, that way. Six pounds in one week. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I just feel so great, y'all. I cannot even tell you how good I feel. I feel so great. And I just want to mention one other thing. Take measurements. Take your measurements because sometimes a scale is not going to reflect what's really going on because you're going to be drinking so much water depending on when you weigh yourself. You may have a lot of water in your body. So make sure you, if you do weigh yourself, weigh yourself at the same time every day and try to weigh it after you've done your fasted cardio if you decide to go that way. And, you know, when you've not consumed a lot of water right before you get on the scale because it's going to show on the scale. So I want to tell you that. And take your measurements and take weekly. I do that weekly. Take my measurements. I've just started that this week. So I'll let you know next week on Friday what my measurements are looking like because I just started that. I had to go get a tape measure. I was using my husband's tape measure for woodworking. It hurt. So, yeah. So I said, let me go on over here with my cheap self and go to Walmart and get a, a dog on tape measure for one dollar girl but anyway back i digress y'all i digress um and do weekly photos do weekly photos of how you look um each week and then you can compare it because i am going to start putting those in my videos so i want you to to do that and guys let me tell you i am one person that hated to take pictures. I didn't want to be seen in pictures uh, because I, I was so uncomfortable. I knew I was fat and I, I hated it, you know, and, and I'm in a prestigious organization uh, called Junior League. And a lot of those ladies are very accomplished, very successful, and I could hold my weight there. But man, they fit. They are so fit. And I'm like, I can't be the fat chick up in the pictures now these ladies they work they mothers they wives you know stressful careers and they making it work and they look great and, and going to the gym and eating right so can you use that excuse and my husband's like what's well, Aisha? you had two kids babe my baby is 10 i can't use that excuse anymore <laughs> he's so sweet i love him but yeah so Stay positive, y'all. Y'all got this. You can do it. We will encourage and motivate each other. That's what I want to do with this segment. Let's empower each other. Let's motivate and encourage. There's too much negativity out here in the world. We can all win. We can all, I truly believe that. There is enough room for everyone at the table. And let's encourage each other, especially women. Especially women. Encourage your sister. Fix that crown on her head, okay? Don't talk bad about her. Let's join hands together. Okay, join hands together. Let's work together. Let's network together. Let's encourage and motivate and not hate. All right, be blessed, y'all.